The Daffodil and the Speaker. Hi, I'm Marianne from Speak to Engage and welcome to my mini series uh, about the Daffodil and likening it to the Speaker, uh, a tribute to one of my favourite spring flowers. And today, part one is the Daffodil in its natural environment before any wind or rain starts to batter it or before it gets picked even. Even when it gets picked, if you buy a bunch of daffodils, that you often naturally find them tall and upright. Now, I'm not talking about tall, whether you're tall or whether you're short. I'm on the shorter side. And even miniature daffodils versus um, the taller daffodils. There's this upright posture and fairly open posture, which really serves the speaker well, uh, whether you're standing or whether you're sitting. That open posture allows not only for you to look relaxed, but it enables you to breathe uh, optimally and the breath is the powerhouse for your words. It enables you to put some energy into the words, emphasize certain words, and not always having to take a stop or a gasp in order to continue. So there we go, and you've seen maybe people runners that have been rushing around I mean, literally when you're out of breath you'll see that people will gasp a lot quite naturally when they have to say something it's harder so a reminder the daffodil for me is a reminder to stand tall whether you're tall or whether you're short open posture upright to enable us to breathe feel more comfortable, energize, and power our words with that energy that we call breath. Hope you enjoyed this uh, first tribute to uh, the daffodil and the speaker reminding us about the open posture, upright posture, to breathe in order to give um, greater power to our words. And I'm Miriam, speak to engage. See you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>